What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is another vlog or discussion style video about the Nerf rival uh, future. In a previous video, I discussed what's next beyond the Nerf Nemesis because it's like freaking OP. And I discussed little things that could improve upon this blaster. And a lot of you guys commented requesting a rival sniper rifle from Hasbro. And this comment keeps popping up on all of the rival reviews I have because the rival series is somewhat complete. It kind of has a little bit of everything other than also requested a pistol. And there are some replies to those comments or replies saying, hey, the Apollo's a pistol. Uh, nah, not really. And I totally get that request, having something really small to fit into a cargo pocket into a holster as a backup in case your primary goes down. I wouldn't say that's an advancement on top of the Nemesis, but that's an expansion of the rival line that might be in the future. I don't know. Or at least it seems reasonable. But now I'm going to address the sniper rifle request, because honestly, I don't think the rival series really should have a sniper rifle. The foundation of my argument is sort of what rival represents and what a sniper rifle represents. Let's look into the history of a sniper rifle. BT dubs, a sniper is a person. A sniper rifle is the rifle itself, besides the point. But in real life, or with real firearms, what does a sniper rifle do? It helps a sniper engage at a really long range to lay down really precise fire. Two things that are really common in sniper rifles for, for real steel is a higher caliber than like what normal infantry use, and a slightly larger barrel than a standard infantryman. The higher caliber is to remain effective at super long ranges because they're snipers, like literally they're shooting at really far range, and that bullet's going to slow down. So if they use the standard 5.56 NATO round, which a lot of American uh, infantrymen are using, by the time that bullet gets all the way to its target, it'll slow down and it won't have the same stopping power or kinetic energy transfer upon impact as, you know, from 100 meters or 200 meters. So if you get a bigger caliber, you can transfer more energy and be more effective at those sniper ranges. Next, the longer barrel is generally to support a higher muzzle velocity. When you shorten up a barrel, you're wasting a lot of the, the cartridge, like, energy by spewing it out, like, in gas and all of that stuff. So when you have a longer barrel, you're able to contain that. Similar principles are actually applied to like air guns in nerf like modifications you have to size the barrel correctly to the amount of air supplied to that dart same or similar to real firearms why did i just talk about that a whole bunch because when we transfer those principles of what a sniper is and why they need a sniper rifle with particular elements or features those elements do not transfer into our hobby nerf the same way first caliber having a larger projectile isn't gonna like help kinetic energy for stopping power in order to like like destroy human flesh. That's that's not what our hobby's about. And as we've seen from the Mega series, you know, there, there really isn't a huge advantage of using a larger projectile. But if the UN was regulated by the Hasbro attorneys, man, it would be a very different world. <laughs> because of course they have to monitor how much energy they put into those darts so a kid shooting another kid in the face can't sue Hasbro for like a million dollars. And that's why they have to level everything out so they can't damage kids. So yeah. So the caliber thing just doesn't transfer into nerf really at all. Barrel length. Uh, for unmodified blasters, it's really never been an issue. Flywheel blasters just don't want any barrel at all. You just want right from the flywheels into open air. You don't really need a barrel at all. And most Springers, even though they kind of looks like they have a barrel, they really don't because the breech kind of closes over it and it's effectively a front loader. Like the breech goes around the dart and that's it. Anything in front of that is not a real barrel as far as like the pressure building goes. So having a longer barrel is not going to help at all. And at this point, you might be saying, well, those two elements are irrelevant. You know, we have the long shot. We have the Centurion. Nerf has released other like sniper rifles or at least that look kind of sort of like sniper rifles but now to the most important part what is the rival series after we've identified what a sniper is each rival blaster is built around effectively destroying other people in tag or nerf like events the apollo for example i don't really like the top priming system but there's really nothing here that doesn't have to be here it looks cool and there is some design elements so it's not just a blob of nothing that happens to shoot darts or balls but it's not based around being tactic cool like having a bunch of barrel extensions and having stocks and having a bunch of crap that doesn't really help you defeat other people. That's the, the essence of Nerf Rival. Then getting to the Nemesis, which is just super war effective, but let's just think, okay, let's turn this into a sniper rifle. Is that going to be any more effective in our Nerf game? at all. Without increasing the muzzle velocity to the point where you're going to be breaking Hasbro safety standards by transferring too much kinetic energy, are you going to achieve a much higher range? Well, you can't do that with a barrel, as we've just discussed. And anything that isn't making the projectile go faster, like a hop-up unit or something like a spiraling system, to make the projectile travel a longer range without damaging the person more, that technology would be implemented into all of the blasters, not just the sniper rifle. Because Hasbro wants these toys to perform really well without being able to damage people. That's what Nerf is all about. So if they came out with some awesome super elite spin spiraling technology to make it spiral like a football for like supreme accuracy, and then they only put it in the sniper rifle, the consumers would be like, what the F, David Blaine? Put that stuff in the Apollo. Put it in the Nemesis because you don't want a slow bolt action rifle when you could have a Nemesis with the same tech. So it seems like they've hit the performance wall with the rival series. They're traveling fast, about 100 feet per second. And just like with Nerf Elite, 
elite blasters, the sniper rifles, don't really shoot any harder or softer than the other blasters. Unless you attach a big barrel, then it shoots way softer. But without increasing that muzzle velocity, you're not going to enhance the performance. So why would you have a low capacity sniper rifle that just has a really low rate of fire if the aim of the entire series is performance? If you want a sniper rifle, go grab an Apollo. Then you could get one of those wrapping paper tubes and just duct tape it on here to have a big stupid barrel that's doing absolutely nothing. Boom, you have a rival sniper rifle. It's spring, it's bolt action, even though it's not a bolt at all. And boom, rival sniper. But in the end, I think the commenters and the people requesting this first just kind of also see the wall of rival, like what's next? We have everything. So, oh, a sniper rifle. Yeah, man, a pistol. And things that really aren't necessary to our hobby or what's, what's really necessary, but not really overly utilized. Like not a lot of people have sniper rifles just because nobody wants to carry around a big bulky thing when a smaller package does the same job. It's not the size that counts, it's how you use it and what battery source you have. <laughs> Was it a robot sex joke or a flywheel master race joke? I don't, I don't know. Keeping you guys on your toes. <laughs> so do I want a rival sniper rifle? Sure, why not? Do I think Hasbro will deliver? No, and honestly, I, I don't know that they should to respect the, the whole rival essence of what it is to be a rival blaster. And if they change their mind on the rival blasters and want to make them all tactical, then it'll just piss me off that the other blasters don't have barrel extensions and they don't have stocks and they don't have more tack rails all over the place to pick and choose the tactics of, oh, I want it to make it look cool and be tactical like a sniper rifle, but not have the other tactical stuff. Yeah, but perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps they're working on it right now. What will it turn out to be? Probably just an Apollo reskin, maybe just a side handle instead of the top handle, a slightly longer barrel, maybe a magazine that doesn't protrude out a whole lot, and um, something that looks more like a sniper rifle. It's not going to perform any better, it's just going to be way more plastic that you're carrying around, um, but that's just what a Centurion and a long shot are, really. I don't mean to be pessimistic and say, hey Hasbro, don't do that, because I, I mean, I've said this before, I always like more options. Even if I don't use them, somebody might, and to get more people into the hobby would be cool. But as far as what the rival seems to represent now, it seems like they've gone too strong on that performance-oriented, if you don't need it, it's not attached to the rival blaster, and we're not going to let you attach it with <laughs> attachment points. At this point, it seems like it would be a contradiction to the series to really sniper rifles, but I'd love to hear what you think. If you disagree, leave a comment in the section below. That's this discussion slash vlog slash rambling video. I probably repeated myself. Whatevs. That's it. Thanks for watching, bros. Stay tactical.